Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Captain America, the Special Collector's Edition Disney Store exclusive. This cap comes more in a Golden Age representation of the hero. Also, it looks like he comes with an interchangeable head, a shield, and a Liberty display stand. The side of the package features some really nice artwork. A consistent trend with a lot of Diamond Select toys, uh, Marvel Select pieces. They always really pick the great artwork to feature on the side. And somewhat recreated, we have Captain America on the back and the figure with the shield and display stand. To check out more from Diamond Select toys, you can go to www.diamondselecttoys.com. That being said, Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back... We're going to get a better look at Diamond Selects, Marvel Select, Captain America, the Disney Store exclusive. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. How about the first thing we have a look at is the display stand that comes included with Captain America. We've got Liberty, Justice for All. Featured on the front. Almost a copper-colored display stand. It is hollow on the, on the back there. There's not really much to be said for the display stand itself, but there are two peg points on the top that you can either have Cap standing straight, or what you can also do too, is you can bend the leg and then you have Cap standing on top like that. Yeah, not bad. It's not too bad of a display stand. It's different than some of the other Caps that we've gotten in the past. Really, equally so, the same thing really can be said for this Captain America. It's different. Different good, different bad. That really is your pers you know, your opinion. It's got, um, it's almost got a vintage look to it. Very reminiscent of how he looked in like the Golden Age, Age comics. Uh, Cap is awfully proportioned. Like the top of his torso is very big, very bulky, and then he's got really long legs. But again, like this is kind of, this is more so a cap that I would have expected Toy-wise, I'd almost expect this toy to be around back in the day of, I don't know, even like uh, like the Toy Biz days. It seems like it's just like an, a Toy Biz kind of Marvel Legends Captain America. If you like vintage Captain America more so than current, this is a figure for you. I don't know if I'm super crazy about the design, but then again, like I'm not as die-hard of a die uh Captain America fan as say like let's say Spider-Man or Batman or Superman vintage versions of those guys I would probably be more inclined to be uh, to have an appeal for this cap's not bad but he's very different uh, again looking at his face he's got almost like a, like a golden age boy like face sculpt to him very youthful very round he's not chiseled maybe to the degree that you would see a Captain America figure nowadays. Again, that's going back to a more vintage design of him. If you prefer something a little more unmasked, well, of course, he does come with the unmasked version of Steve Rogers. And you can just reach at the head. Let's bring the camera back a little bit. Reach the top of the head here, and we're just going to pull it from the ball joint. And it's the ball joint is stiff on there. Let's see if I can actually... There we go. Let's draw your attention quickly, by the way, to the size of the peg. And the size of the peg hole. Peg, peg hole. Very small. So be careful when changing it out. Then you actually realize how small that peg was. That This is not the kind of figure where I feel like you would want to be changing this out frequently to. Because that peg does run the risk of breaking off. That's a very small neck. Yeah, do be careful changing this out. But that's essentially what it's going to look like. I might not even put the head on complete because I am likely just to switch it back to the Captain America face. But that's that's essentially what it would look like with the unmasked Steve Rogers face. Not bad, but I guess between the two, I gravitate a little bit more towards this one. Um, I would really like to know the backstory as I put the head back on Cap here. I would really like to know the backstory as to the why, how this figure exists. The reason why I say that is, as I got the head back on there, let's even look at, look at the two heads. The two heads don't even really go with one another. 
Obviously this one's more muted in color. It's more of a matte paint. This one has shinier paint. This one also has a cleft chin. Steve Rogers here does not have a cleft chin. Eyes are completely different. Nose is completely different. It's really like this head does not seem like it would be the unmasked version of this head. Very different. I Again, I don't know the logic and story behind it. But if given the choice, probably would go with the cap head more than Steve Rogers. The one other accessory that comes with Captain America is, of course, his shield. Uh, the shield is on a bowl joint, which is something I haven't seen with a lot of Captain America shields. However, the clip that they put on it is plastic. I worry about this quite a bit. In fact, as much as I worry about the peg on Cap's neck for changing out his head, I worry equally as much when it comes to this, the shield. The shield clips onto his hand, his arm, not well, mind you, unless I have to have it a little further down. It just kind of sits there. You kind of have to just sit on it like a ledge. It does its job, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like it's... I felt like there could be an easier way to display the shield. Maybe if I have it kind of... There we go. Maybe that might make things a little... Yeah, it's a little more fixed that way. Shield is very basic in design. It doesn't have a lot going on. For very flat shield as well, as opposed to a curved shield. More so, again, what he would look like. I say golden age, more so like a silver age cap. Blue's good. A little bit of paint splotch there. It's, got, it's not quite a white. It's not quite a silver. It's kind of a color in between. And then we've got red. Um, in the way of his articulation, we'll just take the shield off for a second. In the way of Cap's articulation, as you've already seen, he's got a ball joint. It does move left and right, and it's got the hinge, but it doesn't really move the head up and down, more so just left and right. Hinged arms a swivel also in the forearm, which also is a bend in the forearm area. A swivel at the glove. No uh, articulation in the wrist, just in the glove itself. A swivel at the waist. And then legs are on a ball joint. He has a single bend knee, swivel point in the top of his boots, and finally a hinge foot. Speaking not from a Cap, uh, Captain America fan per se, I like some iterations of Captain America. I don't know if I like Cap enough to say a golden age or maybe the equivalent of a silver age cap in figure form is something that I would jump towards. So I would say that a figure such as this would probably be something that more of a diehard collector of Captain America pieces might be more inclined to want to pick up. If you're a fan of Captain America, like a diehard fan of Captain America, you probably will really like this figure. For everybody else, I would say this figure is probably just a pass. It does things weirdly, where like at the end of the day, I appreciate that it represents vintage Captain America, but it's just not a figure that I would have normally picked up. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Disney Store exclusive, the Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Captain America Special Collector's Edition figure. And certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.